Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I'm Katrina. If this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome. I hope you see some items you like in some of the videos and consider subscribing. If you are returning, welcome back. I really appreciate you for hanging out with me for a bit. So I'd like to give you guys an update on my Darn Good Yarn Advent Calendar Mystery Project. I am almost done and it has really been a enjoyable time working up this project and seeing how the uh, rounds uh, turn out with the different colors and whatnot. Um, I am only about four rounds away. So I'm going to show you what I did before. What do you think? So that part looked really good, right? Okay, so later on, I will show you the progress that I made. And you'll see that I am almost done. I still do have um, yarn remaining from the different colors. And um, yeah, so I will show you a little bit later. All right, so now the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is striped yarns. So, so I went to the store the other day and I happened to see quite a few beautiful yarns that were ombre, striped, and variated. And some of them were just so pretty, I could not pass them up. And as I looked at the yarns, I tried to envision how they were going to look worked up and couldn't decide what I wanted to make with them. So I tested out two different versions just to see how the striping would come out. So come along with me on a journey as I go about doing it. Okay, so here we are. And I just took the filter away so that we can actually see a little bit um, better. Okay, so these are the yarns that I found. So this is a um, variated yarn and this is a camouflage um, style. And so this is not the one that I'm gonna show you today that I tested, but I just wanted to have you to see how this one will give you a very nice pattern because of the way it is dyed. And so sometimes the colors will line up and sometimes they will be um, adjusted as you work on um, your project. And so variated yarns will do that um, for you. In comparison, this one is an ombre. And so this one has long um, color changes. And so it'll take a while for it to change colors. And I think this one is really good um, for long stripes or for just um, shawls and things like that. Uh, shawls and blankets. It'll give you very, very pretty um, color patterns because it doesn't change colors too fast. And here's another color that I um, purchased um really pretty i just like the way it goes from these colors and this one is a uh, deep teal this one um this one here that i just showed you is called graffito is what it says graffito very pretty with the grays and again, the first one was a camouflage. Okay, but the self-striping yarn is the one that I really got excited about. And so as you can see, I have used some of this, um, but this one is a latte stripe. And you see how it goes uh, from a light to a uh, medium and then a little darker, a little darker, a little darker, and then a nice deep um, brown color. And then it gradually kind of goes back to the light and then back to the dark again. So really nice the way you see it, but in looking at it, I couldn't exactly figure out 
how the color changed. So I decided I wanted to work it up. So I wanted to see how the yarns would work up if I did a basic hat. And that way I could really see how the striping turned out um, with the yarns. So the first thing I did was I made a basic knit beanie. And so here we are, all right? So very basic. I didn't do any special stitches or anything like that. It's just a stockinette stitch um, hat with a two by two rib um, brim. And then I did a Kitchener stitch at the top once I did my decreases to close it up. And I really do like the way the, the top comes together, okay? But I love the way this yarn, the colors, it's beautiful. Um, very easy transitions. You can't really see anything abrupt. I just really, really like it. All right. So that's the knit version. Then I had to do a crochet version because I wanted to see what the difference would be with the striping with crochet. Now we do know that for many of the stitches, crochet stitches use up more yarn than the knit stitches. But how does that affect um, your project when you have a self-striping yarn. And that's what I was trying to see if I could figure out. So here is my basic crocheted beanie right here. And the stitch that I used here was half double crochets. So the bulk of the stitches here are in half, half double crochets. And then the bottom here is a one by one uh, rib uh, front post, back post but I did half double crochets um, to do um, this particular um, rib. And this one was a top down hat, whereas my knit was a um, bottom up um, beanie. All right, but I still see the um, transitions of the um, striping. And I really do like the way the striping um, turned out. I think either way, both of them turned out to be very beautiful um, beanies. I really do like them. And this self-striping yarn is just awesome. It was actually pretty easy to work with as well. Um, just really, really nice. All right. So tell me what you guys think. Um, have you used the self-striping yarn just to do a basic um, project? And what did you think about it? Or have you used a self-striping yarn to do both a knit and a crocheted version? And did you notice a big difference in the way the striping turned out? Were you pleased with the outcome of your project? Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. All right, so now what I'd like to do is show you my progress on my darn good yarn advent calendar. I am almost done and I'm so excited. This mystery project has really worked up really well and I just think it's great. So you want to see? Look at this guys. Isn't this beautiful? I am just loving how it has worked up. Now I am at I am four rounds away from completing it. So I only have four more rounds to go and I still do have um, yarn left over, but I just love the detail and how the layering of the stitches is working out um, in this project. And yeah, it's just beautiful. I love it. All right, tell me what you guys think. What do you think uh, um, uh, about it as we're going along? Yeah. So that's all I have for you guys today. I have four more rounds to go. And that means at least one more video and then I will be completed with this mystery project. And um, so I will get it done in a day or two and I will get it done before Christmas. So I'm really happy about that. Um, that was a goal that I set and I'm very happy that I was able to complete the goal. 
Um, I want each and every one of you guys to have a wonderful holiday. If you happen not to be able to tune in when I show the um, final video of this project before the holiday, if I happen to see you after the holiday, have a wonderful holiday. Um, maybe spend some um, time with your family or loved ones online if you're not able to see them. Um, just let them know you're thinking of them and just, you know, get creative with ways to interact and, and have a good time. All right. And I will see you guys really soon. Before I go, um, if you have not already, please give this video a thumbs up and please leave me a comment. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to uh, looking and reading all of you guys' comments. I really do read them and I really do enjoy responding to them. Uh, I hope to have more content for you guys after the holidays, as well as after the new year has come in. And um, yeah, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, thank you so much. And I will see you very soon.